Hey, what's up everybody? D here from Kickin' Bass TV. Today we're in the bait shop to show you another awesome new mold from our friends at Epic Bait Molds. If you're like me and you like to throw big swim baits, I think you guys are really going to dig this one. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's go. Alright guys, today we got a really cool mold to show you from our friends Jason and Amanda at Epic Bait Molds who always include these awesome thank you notes and a few stickers in every order. Today we got this cool wiper sticker, an Epic Bait Mold sticker, and because it's another Marlin Baits collaboration, we even got a Marlin Bait sticker as well. As always, everything comes well packaged, clean, and ready to shoot right out of the box, which is one of the many reasons we love Epic Bait Molds to begin with. Today we're going to be showing you the 7.6 inch Epic Whip Wad. This is basically the big brother to the original 5.4 inch version that we showed you a couple of months ago like everything at epic it's of course made of 6061 cnc machined aluminum clearly labeled front and back with the marlin baits logo name at the bottom on both sides as well as the back and belly indicator it's a two cavity mold that is individual top injection with the option to use the hook slot or not in the body and all the same details as the original whip wad in the tail and body with the added top recessed hook slot for more weakness presence Starting with some craw tube blend because we want a tougher durometer plastic for a bigger bait. We got about an eighth of a teaspoon of blue highlight powder. Add to that a half a teaspoon of metallic color shift powder pigment. And then from there, we're gonna add some 0.015 as well as some 0.035 black flake for added texture. And what this is gonna help us achieve is a nice crappie imitator that we would normally have to use capsuling skin pore techniques or at least a laminate dual injection to achieve and as you can see we're able to do so with a single color injection by mixing those simple things together usually i preheat all of my molds but because of the size of the larger body cavity here you're definitely going to want to preheat it to prevent any cold cracking from happening for the first couple runs we did a single color injection to test how well it was vented shoot it at different speeds as well as different temps all of them came out absolutely flawless without showing a single cold crack in that bigger body cavity or any air bubbles or flaws in the smaller details of the tail. And like I said, it's a really simple way to build a color that comes off looking like it's a lot more complex than it really is without using any liquid pigment, a few powders, and some flake. After that, I decided to have some fun by recreating a color I made earlier this year, which actually placed me as a finalist in the national bait making competition. All it is is a simplified take on a fire tiger pattern that usually would have a laminated body with a lighter colored underbelly. Instead, we're showing you how you can use single injection method to stay creative in your bait making by shooting the orange body completely, cutting the tail, placing it back in the mold, preheating it, and then shooting the watermelon flake. And I think they came out looking great. Here you can see a size comparison between the original 5.4 inch Epic Whip Wad and the new 7.6. Last but not least, I wanted to test out how well the mold laminated as having a hook slot in both the top and bottom portion of the body could create a problem with the flow of plastic as far as keeping those laminates straight. So I mixed up some dark green pumpkin with some black flake and on the right I've got just some plain chartreuse with no flake in it at all so it would be very evident if there were any bleed or misdirection occurring because of those plates. As you can see, while a couple of flakes made their way into the tail portion, that is not at all the fault of the plates. It's something that is more just typical of that style of design. And they ran pretty much flawless for me, which is what I've come to expect from everything I've got from Epic because of the level of detail and craftsmanship put into their work. When it comes to rigging them up, you can use between a 10 and 12 aught hook Today I'm throwing it on the VMC 11 knot bladed swim bait hook. It's got a screw lock bait keeper to keep that bait in place. I'm shooting these with the hook slotted belly so that I can run this right up into that recessed top hook slot for a nice weedless presence in the water. And that is how I throw these most of the time. And when it comes to targeting offshore suspended bass, out in the open, no cover or vegetation to worry about. For a better hookup ratio, I'm gonna to switch to a standard swim bait style jig head with an exposed hook. As you can see, it's got a great action in the water. That craw tube blend is the perfect durometer plastic for a bait of this size, in my opinion. Of course, if you wanted more action out of the tail, you could go to a lighter swim bait blend. If you wanted to decrease the amount of action in the tail, you could step up to a saltwater blend, but it's a really unique style swim bait that's great for catching big bass, pike, muskie, and other predator species. So if you're a bait maker, 
maker and you're interested in getting your hands on this new mold for yourself, head to epicbaitmolds.com right now where you can get one of these, any of the other awesome molds they have available. If you're not a bait maker and you just want to order some custom swim baits, click the link below that. It'll take you to the Kick and Bass Custom Baits Instagram page where you can send me a message, let me know what you want, and I will get you taken care of. Until next time, I'm D with Kick and Bass TV. Subscribe!